Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just Murphy in here today. Um, I'm going to do a quick intro. Yes, we're looking at a door, but that's because I'm about to show you guys my setup and I didn't want to reveal it like right away. Um, so yeah, intro. Now let's get to the setup. Currently I do have my lights off. I just thought I would do a quick little view of it when the lights off are off. It's about 4.30 p.m. here so there's a little bit of um, extra lighting from the window and stuff. Um, get a little closer view um, of things lit up or well yeah with the lighting and stuff. Okay so I am going to turn the lights on now and show you guys what it looks like my light on, my light on. Now this is not fully lit up because I do have a lamp over here that I use. Um, I use this lamp when I do unboxings and stuff or just want extra light. It, it makes a huge difference um, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so there it is all lit up. Um, let's talk about how uh, I have two tables here, um, side by side, or yeah, uh, lengthwise um, to make it extra long. These are IKEA tables. Um, the legs and the tabletops are sold separately, so um, all together the tables were 36 each. So um, two tables, $72 for a table. Um, not bad. Uh, so over here on the left side, I have my set up I have the consoles um, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One um, currently have just regular controllers for the um, PS4 and Xbox 360 and I have this custom controller from my Xbox One um, if you have not seen it I have an unboxing for it um, on my channel somewhere uh, from about a year ago Back here I have a uh, modem and router, those are from the cable company, or well, the internet company, um, nothing special about those, but I do have it connected and everything wired in, um, so that's why they're here. Um, right here are my Elgato uh, Game Capture HD60, this is a new addition to uh, my setup, actually I did have the original one. Um, before this. I just got that in September, I believe, or October. <sighs> taking a view, or taking a look over here, um, currently I have three 24 inch, one millisecond response time ASUS monitors. Um, over here on the left, did I use for consoles, um, for my console gaming. These two are hooked up to the PC, and over here, um, I've put stickers, uh, razor stickers on the bottom of each of these. I love the razor stickers, and because I have their products, I've uh, they send or they put two stickers in each. So I thought they looked cool on the base of these. Um, yeah, so here I have my. Astro A40 TR Edition uh, headset. Um, these come with the mix amp here that I have back here. Uh, white edition, just so it would match everything, I guess. Um, let's talk about my keyboard here. I have the Black Widow Chroma keyboard from Razer. Uh, my other Razer products would be the Razer Firefly, which is the mouse pad here. Um, the Razer Diamondback Chroma mouse. Um, I have an unboxing on my channel for this as well, if you're interested. Um, yeah. Back here, I got the little speakers um, on each side. Um, those are just PC speakers, and... Currently I have a Pokemon theme going on, um, 
picked this theme out about a year ago. Um, yeah, so that's why it's Pokemon. I thought it went good with the Chroma and I just like, who doesn't love Pokemon, am I right? Um, yeah, so I think that's it for everything on the desk. Um, besides my PC over here. Um, this is a PC from Cyberpower PC. Um, I've had it for a little over a year now. Um, this case is a new case though. I recently just got this case um, a few weeks ago. So that's an, uh, an, a new addition to my setup. Also, I upgraded the RAM from 8GB to 16GB, so the RAM back there um, is new. The lighting inside the case is new. Um, up here, I just have my old Astro A40 headset. Uh, these are the ones that come with the Mixamp, or not the Mixamp, the M80 Mixamp that connects to the Xbox One controller. So, I did have a Mixamp for that one. Um, separately from my phone is going off right now. Hold on. I put that on silent. Anyways, um, yeah, so just have that chilling with some G Fuel. Um, love G Fuel because this remote goes to, um, the lights inside the PC so I can change them and whatever. Here I have an uh, SD card reader, um, external one, a uh, USB one because the computer does not have one in it itself, so yeah. If you look right here, I have the Blue Yeti, the Blue Yeti whiteout microphone. This is um, kind of a new addition to the setup as well, uh, a couple months old now I believe. Um, currently it stands on or sits on this um, white micron that I got from Amazon. Uh, it was very inexpensive. Um, I am looking to get uh, a new one soon. A better one, maybe a longer one, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. If we take a look right here, I've got my DX Racer chair in black and orange. Uh, orange happens to be my favorite color. So, um, I was unsure of getting this chair in the beginning. I was like, I don't know if I want to spend that much on a chair. My brother convinced me to. So I just had him order it for me and said, okay, well, you do it for me. So I'm not going to do it. And he ordered me the uh, black and orange one because the orange is my favorite color. But I wanted the black and white one so that it would match everything. But that's not a big deal. Still love it. Still a comfortable chair. Um, I said show you guys where my games sit. So I don't really play console that much anymore, but here are my console games sitting here on this um, old Xbox 360 holder. It was made uh, for the 360 specifically. There's a little spot back down there that you can do the where you put the console. I have these little slots here that you put your games and they sit. Um, so these just sit here, collect dust, but I will never get rid of them. Uh, my Nintendo 3DS and an extra Xbox controller, 360 controller, and just a bunch of junk, chargers, remotes, uh, batteries, and stuff. So yeah, that about does it for uh, what my setup consists of. Um, if we want to get to the con of it all, the cringy part. If I go look under the desk, I'll show you guys a little bit of the wiring. Now currently this side is a little organized. Um, this These wires all lead up to the PC, but if you look over here under my console table, the wires aren't that great. Um, I did have them all organized at one point, but as much of new stuff I had put in recently, the wires have just gone really bad. Um, if I get down here really quick. Um, uh, at one point I had this power brick um, surge protector 
stuck to the top of this by the little sticky things and gravity did not want that to happen so they it fell off with the sticky things still on it and I put it here on the speaker thing well now the problem is that the sticky things have stuck and I cannot get this off <laughs> I would have to unplug everything and probably rip it off um, and that is how I'd be able to manage all these a little bit better but but until then um, when I have the hours to do that because I did do the wire management at one point where they were all really organized better than that right there um, yeah it did take hours so until I have those hours to do that again I probably will put that on my to-do list in 2017 um, quick thing right there is my old PC case don't know what to do with it yet it's completely empty um, and there's some uh, oops. extra cameras a camera charger sitting on top of that along with an extra long DXR um, DX racer mouse pad that I have no idea what to do with that they sent it to me um, with the chair I just already had the firefly or I had a mouse pad Okay, so that's going to do it for my video. Um, I've got some things to look forward to in 2017 for this setup. For my 2000 setup video, 2017 setup video, this will probably look completely different. I am looking to get some new things and maybe change the tables up and stuff um, so, so it'll look different. Alright, so that's going to do it for um, my setup video. Um, if you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, and please subscribe if you already aren't. I hope everyone has a happy new year, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.